Explore this unique approach to establishing a connection with your soulmate, twin flame, lover, or lost love. The transmission of telepathic messages, encompassing both sexual and emotional thoughts, holds significant importance and warrants attention. If, like myself, you find yourself single, you may have encountered the potent, alluring bond between souls, destined for brief or extended periods together, only to see it conclude unexpectedly. Following such separations, a yearning for that special soulmate connection often persists. The conveyance of emotional and sexual telepathic messages to your lover, soulmate, or ex can be achieved either directly or indirectly. Opting for an indirect method appears less manipulative. Utilizing a powerful imagination and the ability to visualize dreams, one can manifest desires. Allocate approximately 15 minutes daily to this practice. Indirect method. Select a blank wall and focus on it. Envisioning the face and body of your lover or ex-lover, whether with closed or open eyes, visualize pink energy streaming from your eyes to the wall, enveloping the recipient's face, body, and energy field. This pink light symbolizes pure divine love. Vocalize your sentiments, expressing affection and conveying messages until a sense of completion is achieved. Direct method. While also utilizing a blank wall, Project the image of your lover or ex-lover onto it. Feel the transmission of pink divine love energy through your eyes, articulating your feelings silently or aloud. Speak affirmations of love, commitment, and desire for the person. Sending sexual energy. To transmit sexual energy to a lover, lost love, or potential partner, Visualize and concentrate on the red energy of passion flowing between you. In private moments, focus on sending sexual energy to enhance arousal. Employ inner visions and verbal affirmations to express desire, enhancing the intimate connection. A powerful illustration of the effectiveness of sending sexual energy occurred when, after concentrating on a man's sexual energy, he experienced physical arousal and contacted the sender to request cessation. Recognizing and acknowledging a partner's fantasies through telepathic awareness can lead to surprising revelations. Soul kissing can be practiced similarly to the method used for sending sexual energy. Instead of directing energy toward a person's genitals, the focus shifts to their lips, visualizing oneself engaged in a kiss. The choice of utilizing the red light of passion or the pink light of pure divine love is available for this practice. In my role as a love psychic, clients often request that I convey messages to their loved ones. As a specialist in love and feelings, my expertise lies in channeling the deepest, most concealed thoughts, emotions, and intentions of your soulmate, lover, or lost love, providing insights into your potential future together. However, I cannot and will not transmit messages on your behalf. The reason is simple. If these messages are not conveyed by you, there is a risk of significant miscommunication. This realization led me to create a blog on how to remotely send sexual and emotional energy to soulmates, lovers, and lost loves. Before embarking on this soul-to-soul -soul communication journey, it is crucial to ensure it aligns with the recipient's will. Attempting otherwise might push them away and confuse them. Now, let me share an incident from over two decades ago to illustrate the do's and don'ts of transmitting sexual and emotional thoughts. I was romantically involved with someone in another state, and when it abruptly ended, I, heartbroken, began sending messages like, I want to marry Linda. Surprisingly, it did work, but not in my favor. He eventually married another woman named Linda. This serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of careful messaging. Whether delivered indirectly or directly, it is imperative, however, to always respect someone's will and avoid actions that go against their consent. When engaging in the practice of soul kissing, 
Envisioning the act of kissing their lips while channeling either the red light of passion or the pink light of pure divine love adds a profound dimension to the spiritual connection. This intimate visualization serves as a method to foster a deeper understanding and emotional bond with the person in question. In my capacity as a love psychic, I have encountered numerous instances where clients sought my assistance in communicating with their loved ones. My specialization in deciphering the innermost thoughts and feelings of soulmates, lovers, and lost loves allows me to offer insights into the complexities of relationships and potential futures. However, it is crucial to emphasize that while I can provide such insights, I refrain from transmitting messages on behalf of individuals. This decision is rooted in the recognition that the authenticity of communication holds paramount importance, and messages should be conveyed directly by the concerned parties. As we delve into the exploration of sending sexual and emotional energy to distant soulmates, lovers, or lost loves, it is essential to tread cautiously. Before embarking on this unique form of soul-to-soul -soul communication, ensuring that it aligns with the recipient's will becomes a moral imperative. Attempting otherwise not only risks pushing them away, but also introduces confusion into the delicate dynamics of relationships. Reflecting on a personal experience from over two decades ago, serves as a poignant reminder of the nuanced nature of sending such messages. A heartbreak prompted me to convey messages expressing a desire to marry a particular person, only to find out later that he had married someone else with the same name. This serves as a valuable lesson about the nuanced nature of messaging, reinforcing the importance of conscious and respectful communication. Whether conveyed indirectly or directly, it is crucial to approach such practices with a deep understanding of the responsibility that comes with influencing the energies and emotions of others, always striving to act within the bounds of consent and mutual understanding.